Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to this uh, playlist where I'm talking about a different microservice pattern in Node.js. Okay, so now let's talk about practical. We have talked a lot about theoretical aspects, uh, theoretical definitions of these different microservice patterns. Now we will just talk about in the language of code. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is just a basic Node.js template. So it depends on you, you wanted to use just an express template or a simple Nest.js template. Nest.js is just a framework of Node.js to write the APIs. So I already have this skeleton of code, okay. So as I told you earlier that we will be doing the demos using the Docker and Docker Compose. So you should be aware about how this Docker Compose works. So I have created this Docker Compose file and here, here you can see all the services which I have. Okay, I have a three different node services, node one, node two, node three, and I have a MySQL service. Okay, and uh, in this, I have a Docker file, which is doing nothing but exposing 3000 port, and this is a debugger port doing npm install, copying the current working directory code to the container, doing npm install, then exposing the port and doing npm run debug, which is there in my package.json, which is starting the Nest.js I mean you can say the express server on some port if you're not familiar with the nest.js it's just a consider it is a simple uh, node.js uh, express template which is starting the node.js server on a particular port okay so what I did is I have these three different services they are using the same set of code I didn't create them as a three different node.js containers having three different type of uh, endpoints I mean three different endpoints or three different services what I'm doing is on the same code base I created these three different containers you can see they are looking at the same docker file the ports are different because otherwise the host port will be conflict container port can be the same like 3001 here is 3002 so on the host 3000 3001 and 3002 are occupied for these three services and then mysql because all these Node.js services are talking to MySQL. They are establishing the MySQL connection. Here is my MySQL connection details, basic things. What port mapping we are going to have, volume mount. This MySQL data will be mount to the container volume. Okay. And these are my Node.js containers. The simple volume is current directory volume is mapped to the user SRC app for all the containers. So I have actually four services. So when I do docker compose up, I should be able to see all these four containers up and running. Now the advantage of using docker and docker compose here is now instead of node service, service node the service, we can have a one cache service, one middleware service, one API gateway service, and we can have a nice, a nice demo around all these different services. One may be a Redis, one may be a Mongo, one may be a MySQL, one is a simple node just service running using Express, another using Nest.js or any other tool like logger tool or logger library or logger tool you have installed or like ELK, Elastic Logs Test or Kibana you are running where you can see the logs. That is just a, now in the current days you can run any tool just using docker, docker pull, docker run that container name like we were doing for Redis and all, okay. So this is my docker compose file if I wanted to spin up, up then I can do docker compose up and I already did it so you can see I have these three different services here is my different services and here is my mysql yes so this is my mysql container which is running you can inspect it okay so inspect will give you the whole information about the mysql container which we have this is the root port and mysql username password path all the versions and this is the current flow, this is the status is currently running and I have other Node.js services. So these are, these are three Node.js services pointing to the same code base. Okay, if you inspect it, you will come to know that it is pointing to 3001 port. So if you hit 3001 on browser, you will be able to see something. I mean, whatever the routes it is having. Status is up and running, these are the logs, right? Similarly, we have three more Node.js services and one MySQL service. If we just try to see, what these containers are having. This is a MySQL container. It is actually starting a test database with all these username, password, credentials, and volume on. Okay, so this is the idle setup. We will be just replacing the other two Node.js services with some other uh, 
micro services which can be helpful for us maybe a cache service maybe a mongo service mongo db service or maybe another node js service currently all these node js service actually being built from the current folder or current source code right it is just for demo like how you can spin up the containers using docker compose file in the services you can just keep adding all the services these services require a docker compose file the port binding volume binding and depends on because node js services depending on the mysql until unless mysql is not up your node js container will break because we are connecting to mysql in the node js while starting up the application right so if you try to see our logs here you can see all the three services are coming up oh, let me show yeah these are the three different services pointing to the same code base and all are up right so if you just try to hit this get url or ping url so these are the routes i'm having so you can think like these are the three different microservices you are running on a same network and how this node.js service are able to talk, talk to mysql because they are in same network so if i wanted to talk to mysql then i will not be using local host if you just see the environment i am passing db host as a db host as a mysql db type db host as a mysql right so this node.js container will understand mysql as another container if you just try to put local host and something else it doesn't understand what local host is inside containers they are talking with the name of the container container one will talk to a container two from its name okay they are able to talk to each other in the dog using docker compose because it is a default it is creating default one single network so if you just try to see if i try to create a new tab and try to see the services so these four services i'm running right and docker images maybe uh, more uh, docker ps all the current running process okay I can also try to inspect a particular container right it is showing you the network configuration of this particular container how this container is able to talk to another container it's a very big long configuration file status running pose and all this is the relative path and there should be a common network this is a network bridge network set settings right so it is creating a network bridge and all the components are sharing a same network bridge so that they can talk to each other so this video is just about to make you familiar about how the docker works how the docker compose works how our containers will talk to each other currently we have these three different four different containers three node.js and one mysql okay in future we might be having many containers okay like uh, you can introduce one elk tool or another console and other tools which are which you can use for the log tracing performance metrics or log aggregator all these no all these services you can write which will be doing a different task okay there may be another database because we are writing microservices where every containers can have its own database or there may be a shared database currently we have a single database and all the three services are talking to the same data source so it's not an idle case i am just talking about how to structure a docker compose file to have to spin up all the containers locally and allow them to talk to one another okay now we will build on top of this like how we can go forward from here we will we will spin up all the services we can put some nginx service also here that will be a single entry point for the client to talk to these microservices and there can be a different api routes so like if you are hitting forward slash api then this request should go to node container when you are hitting api1 api v1 then it should talk to node1 container so this should be your default communication on 3000 port this should be a, a communication on 3000 because on container port can be same because they are in their own namespace v2 will be node 3000 node 2 3000 okay 
these all these scenarios we will be covering uh, with the local setup thanks everyone